It's not Brexit. SNP shamed on empty shelves in Scottish supermarkets. This is what happens when you have a vindictive and incompetent leader. Nicola will make Scotland bad for her selfish dream of independence. The SNP has been closed because the poor quality of the Calmac ferry fleet is affecting the supply of essential foods to the Western Isles. Although this week has seen West Coast services disrupted due to strong winds, Western Isles Council leaders have stated that even if the weather is not bad, ferry problems and delays late arrivals at new berths have left island communities vulnerable. The Scottish Government has received constant criticism for its failure to improve ferry service, including recently being informed of the delay of two new Calmac ferries under construction at the Ferguson shipyard. Nationalisation due to hundreds of misinstalled power cables. These two ferries are four years late and will cost more than double the £98 million contract price agreed with the pitch in Port Glasgow. Very wild Billy said, stores are short of bread and milk, essentials. We're just going from day to day at the moment. Brexit. Is not. SNP ferry crashes. Yes. It is clear that the SNP cannot afford to bring a good life to the people of Scotland. Typically with our lack of necessary food and the inability of the SNP to guarantee pensions for the elderly, things go horribly wrong with that tainted dream of independence. Please focus on your work. Scottish ministers fully recognise the need to tackle delays in investment in ferry infrastructure. However, money is being invested in other useless things. Labour's MSP Rhoda Grant said delays in bringing new ferries into service had caused maintenance bills for existing boats to soar, the daily record reports. Repair costs reached £15 million in the first year of the contract, rising to almost £18.5 million in the fourth year. Ms Grant said, years of neglect have left Scotland's ferry fleet in a pitiful state, and their disastrous mismanagement of Ferguson's marine contracts has made the situation dire. Then, the SNP's quirky approach to shipbuilding has failed islanders, workers and taxpayers. The council's transport committee chairman, Eustian Robertson, said, we've been warning for some time that we should expect problems. It all happened this week, especially in Uist, when the Hebrides disbanded and is now working at Lokmadi. That leaves stores short of bread and milk, essentials. Right now, we're trying to see how long it will take to repair the Hebrides. Public Transport Scotland said Scottish ministers, and the board of directors of David MacBrain Limited, were listening to the people of the island. They always listen, but then ignore them and lead to serious consequences. Every year, the UK spends a lot of money on Scotland, but they have been used for the wrong purpose. It is a clear sign that after 14 years in power, the SNP are completely incompetent and do not deserve the vote of the Scottish people.